on September 30, 2024, South Korea unveiled its latest and most formidable ballistic missile, the Hoon Mu-5, in a public display just ahead of the country's 76 Armed Forces anniversary. This missile, which reportedly the world's most powerful non-nuclear ballistic weapon, underscores South Korea's strategic military advancements and its increasing focus on countering the security threats posed by North Korea. Weighing an impressive 36 tons and carrying a massive 8 to 9 ton weight, the Hyun Mu-5 is designed for a specific role, penetrating deeply fortified underground facilities. Its sheer destructive capacity makes it a near intercontinental ballistic missile, positioning it as a key asset in South Korea's deterrent strategy. This missile can deliver a conventional warhead with a destructive force rivaling some nuclear weapons. Mason, a prominent defense analyst, remarked that the Hyun Mu-5 is the most destructive conventional missile ever created, reflecting its immense potential. This missile could serve as a game changer in the region, particularly given its ability to target critical infrastructure, command centers, and underground facilities deep within enemy territory. The Hyun Mu-5 incorporates several advanced technological innovations, including a coal lodge mechanism. This system uses compressed gas to eject the missile from its transporter rater launcher before ignition, minimizing the wear and tear on the launcher caused by the missile's extreme thrust. This technology ensures the transporter rater launcher remains operational after firing, making it more effective for rapid and repeated deployments. The missile's range, estimated at 5,000 km, allows it to target strategic sites far beyond the Korean Peninsula, including critical infrastructure in North Korea and, potentially, in neighboring regions. Comparisons have been drawn between the Hyun Mu-5 and China's Dongfeng 31 ICBM, showcasing South Korea's ambition to develop high-impact, long-range missile capabilities. Additionally, the missile is equipped with re-entry technologies like the maneuverable re-entry vehicle and multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle systems. These features enable it to avoid missile defense systems and strike multiple or heavily fortified targets, providing a considerable strategic advantage. The Hyun Mu-5 is central to South Korea's Kyo Chuen missile defense and massive punishment and retaliation strategy designed to preemptively neutralize North Korean threats, especially in the event of a nuclear attack. This strategy, developed after North Korea's fourth nuclear test in 2016, revolves around the rapid detection, targeting, and elimination of hostile forces before they can execute an attack. The missile's capability to penetrate underground bunkers is vital for striking North Korea's deeply buried command centers and missile silos. In a conflict scenario, the Hyun Mu-5 could be deployed to dismantle North Korea's nuclear launch capabilities, command structure, and military communication networks, crippling its ability to respond effectively. South Korea plans to deploy over 200 Hyun Mu-5 missiles in the coming years, significantly enhancing its strategic missile force. The South Korean Strategic Command will oversee their operation, 
ensuring they are integrated into the country's broader defense posture. In a breaking move, the South Korean military also intends to mount the Hyun Mu 5 on its upcoming joint support ship. This deployment will transform the joint support ship into the world's first arsenal ship capable of carrying a launching long range ballistic missiles, thus extending South Korea's missile reach and strategic deterrence to the seas. The Hyun Mu 5 plays a crucial role in South Korea's deterrence efforts, not only against North Korea but also in the broader East Asian security environment. With North Korea's continued pursuit of nuclear weapons and missile technology, South Korea's development of the Hyun Mu 5 represents a clear signal that it is prepared to counter any threat with overwhelming conventional firepower. While North Korea's missile and nuclear programs present a significant risk, the Hyun Mu 5 adds a layer of deterrence that complicates Pyongyang's calculations. Its ability to target underground facilities, avert missile defenses, and inflict catastrophic damage with a conventional payload enhances South Korea's defensive and retaliatory options. Furthermore, the missile's potential for deployment on the JSS further strengthens South Korea's capacity to project power across the region, deterring not only North Korea but also any other potential adversaries. The Hyun Mu 5 introduction has already sent reapers across the regional security landscape. South Korea's ballistic missile program has long been a cornerstone of this defense against North Korean provocations. However, the unveiling of this missile signals a shift forward a more assertive defense posture. <laughs>